What's up friends, Chook here, and today we're playing Xin Zhao in the jungle. So we'll just head down to... Actually, I might start red. I don't start red often, but Xin is very much a uh, attack speed champion, so... We'll start there. Ping for help, and we'll have a look at the team comps. So, it is myself as Xin Zhao jungle, Echo top, uh, Diana mid, and Lucian and... Leona bot against Hecarim jungle, Nasus top, Bran mid, Lulu and Caitlyn bot. The warrior spirit is never broken. So let's just uh, stand here and protect our jungle. So with uh, Zin jungle. I like to start with the W and then get the Q and then get the E and max the E first. Um, I just find the cooldown on the charge is much better to get in, you know, to, to catch people out of position, um, gap closer, you know, all of that basically. So that's why I will max my E first and I'll be getting Sated Devourer as well um, because... Zin with the attack speed. It just works really well. So, probably Sated Devourer. Um, and then a Blade of the Rune King. And from there, we'll go tanky. And then if we're doing really, really well, we might get a, uh, a Trinity Force or something. Alright. So, it's been a little bit longer then than I should have. Because I wasn't paying attention. But we'll get the W here and start. Thank you. Always say thanks. So this the the W is really good to start because of the sustain that you get, and the Q is good because uh, this to get next because for every attack you do with it, you lower the cooldown on every other ability, so you can get the the W off more often, basically. And um, as you can see, he's very safe in the jungle. Haven't need to, you know, didn't need to smite the red buff. Um, and we're still half health. And we haven't even used the pot yet, so. Let's clear out the chickens. So we got first blood on, uh, who was that? On Diana. So that's good. Always good when your team gets the first blood. So there you go. So we've cleared out the first three waves, no pots, and uh, we're pretty much full health. So yeah, he's a very competent jungler in that sense. Uh, he is single target though. So, you know, there are definitely quicker junglers out there. But a bit like Warwick, you know, with, with his uh, Warwick's passive. Um, he's just very safe. You know, you can sit here forever doing this. And as a result, he's also a very good dueler, so... Uh, now, I don't think we'll smite this blue buff. don't think we'll need to. We'll start using a pot now, though, because we're getting... Getting to the point where... We're going to want to gank, and I want to be full full health, so... I will gank... The, I will uh, smite the... The, uh, the Gromp, though. The Frog. So we'll go here. Smite this. And Echo got killed. So it'll be interesting going up against a, uh, going up against the Hecarim, because I, I main Hecarim uh, this season. I've mentioned that a few times, I believe. And I don't actually see him all that often uh, in the... The bracket I'm in, you don't. I don't see him many, many hack rooms at all. So, um, yeah, interesting. I haven't played against that many hack rooms of, of late. So we'll see how I go. Hack room is a bully, but Zin is also a bully. So, if we can get both uh, scuttles, that would be nice. Should be able to. Now the thing with it, if you're going uh, Sated Devourer, or Devourer Enchantment, 
in general is you want to uh, grab it as soon as you possibly can. Uh, you don't want to you don't want to hold off on it. As soon as you can grab it, you go back and grab it so that you can start stacking it as soon as you possibly can. Um, so we could probably, you know, just farm up and maybe go out and back and buy that outright. Um, especially if we can get a gank and a kill that will help us uh, level up the gold a little bit quicker. We may go back and, and get some components. We'll see. Because at the moment we're full health, we're healthy. You know, we can just keep clearing. There's no real point to go back. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm saving my charge for when he tries to get away. Like that. In case he flashed or something, I could uh, I could charge onto him and slow him. You can open with the charge, obviously, uh, as a gap closer, and, you know, that's what I'll be doing a lot. But there, I thought, uh, well, if he, you know, if Nasus tries to get away and he, uh, you know, does his stupid wither move and, um, and flashes away and I can't catch him or whatever and Echo's, I don't know, he was low. So I thought, I'll hold off on it. If I don't need to, if I don't need to dash, I won't. So we're only, what, 300 gold away from, uh, from getting the Devourer upgrade completely, so... I think I might just farm that 300. It shouldn't take too long. And still, with a gank, everything. Clearing everything. If we only use one pot, we're still full health, so. Yeah, very strong. Oh, that was an early ass dragon. That was super early. Uh. I don't know, I don't know about getting a dragon that early. I mean, yeah, it's good to get the first dragon and everything, but the buff it gives you is 6%, I think, of AD and AP. Um, and this early on, 6% is practically nothing. So, yeah. Alright, let's see if we can... Let's see if we can get this Caitlyn, actually. We'll come from behind. No, if she comes for me. Okay, no. If I had my ult. Uh, if I had have gone in earlier with my ult, that may have been a different... But I, I actually played that pretty badly. I took too many turret shots. Hopefully they can get the, get the kill and I get assist. It's probably been too long for the assist. Uh, they didn't even get it. Alright, so we got our... Uh, out of arrow. So that's the main thing I wanted. Now that we have that, we can, uh, we can just farm the jungle like absolute crazy. Level that up as soon as we possibly can. And then, uh, we'll be just be massively strong. And, you know, obviously gank when I can. Um, at the moment, you know, I can't gank bot because I'm nowhere near bot. And mid lane isn't even there. And, uh, top you know, under his turret, nearly under his turret. So there's not much I can do at the moment. So the thing we'd say to Devary, like I said, you want to get it uh, leveled up as soon as you possibly can. So you need to kind of give yourself that time to, to farm the jungle um, and not gank so much. You do get stacks for ganking, obviously, for, for kills and assists. But um, yeah, the more time you spend ganking and, and, and not getting kills, the more time you could have been spending on a... Uh, on just farming, basically. There we go. Easy kill there. Tried to push him back into the turret, but um, apparently he was a bit too far from that. Probably didn't need to ult him, to be honest. Um, but eh, whatever. Okay, where's the scuttle? There he is. Any crowd control on the scuttle is good. So that's why I use my Q there. Okay, Brand's shooting at me. I'm not going to gank him. I was just getting the scuttle, so that's fine. See if Hecarim's blue is up. I'll definitely steal that if it is. No, it's not. Okay, let's steal his Grump. Oh, okay, just spawn. Sweet. That's good timing. Okay, Echo wants it. That's a shame. Quick. Quick.
You're welcome. Okay. My king so that's a dead... A dead Hecarim. That was a good... Good job. Me and Echo are teaming up quite nicely this game. Gonna uh, smite the chickens for the, the ward clearing buff. It's quite a quite a good uh, jungle buff. Probably one of the better ones, if not the best one actually. Uh, smiting the red is good to you know to get your health back and everything. Um, take a little bit of this farm. Only two. Uh, Scuttle is a really good uh, jungle mob to take for the Sated Devourer as well, because it gives you two stacks instead of one. So you see here we're on seven stacks already. Come on, Scuttle. Knock up. There we go. Uh, we're on two stacks already. So uh, Seven stacks, sorry. This will put us up to nine. There we go. We'll give Diana this. This blue. And we'll smite the crump. So this will give us 10 stacks. Um, we don't really have that much mana to go Gang King. Although that brand is quite pushed. Then he's going back in the other. I'll ping to say I'm coming in. Might be able to do something. Um, I'm going to level up my... Ooh. Okay, nah. We'll just grab this. I don't know what to level up next, actually. Maybe the W? Or maybe the Q? Maybe the Q, because then you can use the Q more often. Um, which will let you get cooldown on everything else. So, leveling the Q itself kind of gives you a cooldown. Lower cooldown on everything, so... We'll do that. Alright, so Dragon's up in 25 seconds. I'll just type that to my team. Drag 20 seconds. Clear this out. And I just realized we went back to back to town, but forgot to actually buy stuff. Which was dumb. Sometimes when I do these uh these commentaries, I, I get so wound up in what I'm talking about and explaining why I'm doing things that I forget certain things, such as buying items. So, yeah, not the best. Alright, what can we do here? Doesn't seem like a lot. Is that turret still there? No, it's not. Okay, sweet. Okay, it should be fine. She's going to try and kill me. She's going to die in the process if she comes out. There we go. Perfect. Just what you want. And there's Brand. And am I going to die to this? I am going to die to this. Ah, uh, it's alright. Ignite and his passive together is quite a bit of damage. Um... Yeah, Brand's passive is, uh, is that his spells burn you uh, for a percentage of your maximum health. Or I think I think it's 3%, 6%, something like that. So he got me with his spells and Ignite, which obviously does a lot. So my healing, I put a pot on to try and save myself, but it's just too much of a burn. Okay, so we got this. Next is Blade of the Room King, um, which, you know, had I bought that originally and uh, not forgotten like an idiot... Um, I probably would have survived all of that because I would have had more damage and uh, more attack speed and more attack speed means more healing from my W and everything, but I was silly and forgot to buy items because I was talking about uh, stacking the Devourer, I think. Either way, it's fine. 215 is still a pretty good score. Um, not the best farm in the world, but I'm beating Hecarim's farm, so as long as we beat our opponent, that's the main thing. Now, I really want to get... A, uh, an attack on this dragon because it gives me ah damn it gives me five stacks of my devourer so that would have helped a lot now I could definitely 1v1 this brand if he sticks around 
But I don't know where he is. And I don't really want to go invading the jungle without wards. But I'm going to do it anyway. And he's right there. Yeah, he's dead. And he's dead. Oh. Yep, there it is. And I died. But I got a double kill. So, worth maybe? Who knows? Kills are worth it, right? If you don't, if you don't go for kills, the game's not fun. So, I, I reckon that was worth it. So, he, if we look at the level up here, uh, cooldown takes the cooldown a little... Uh, yeah, it goes down by one second. Attack speed up which is good, and the heal is up, whereas this just gives us a lower cooldown and a bit more damage. I think I'll just level my Q. Um, I'm not sure. It might be W is better than Q. I'm not too sure. I, I don't really play Zin that all that often, so I, I don't really think it matters. that They're, they're basically both good. Um, and we're going to grab... I don't know what boots. Let's have a look. So they have AD, AD, AP, AP, AD... Uh, slow, stun, slow, snare. I think, yeah, I think I'll stick, stick to my Merc Treads like I normally do. It's just good on melee, melee champions. You don't want to be CC'd the whole time. So if we can get our Sated Devourer by 20 minutes, I'll be happy. Um, we need 10 more stacks in, what's that, 3 minutes. Okay, that's actually pushing it a little bit. But we might be able to do it if we just... Focus on farming. Uh, we might be able to do it decently. My king okay, bot lane is uh, turret is about to go down. I'm gonna go take this farm because Echo is teleporting down. So that's a lot of farm to. To let just die at the turret. May as well grab it for the XP. Which won't get us any Devourer stacks, unfortunately. But it will get us um, some Golden Experience. So, can't let that just die off to nothing. There we go. And might get one more wave, actually. Because no one's here to stop us. And then we'll go invade Hecarim's jungle. Okay. Let's go grab his grump. And we'll grab his wolves. Or... Yeah, we'll grab his wolves. And we'll... we'll uh, We'll smite them as well, so we know when they're coming into their own jungle. Now, we can come from behind here, but we're a bit split, so maybe not. Let's just play it safe. Grab his red buff, though. Okay, there's a Caitlyn trap there. I'll just take that out so that doesn't become a problem later. His red buff is not up. We've counter-jungled that, though. And go kill this Caitlyn. No worries. There's nothing she can do to get away from this, I don't think. Yeah, she's pretty stuffed. Unless she flashes, but I'll just flash after her. That was actually pretty well played. I still should be able to get her, though. There we go. With the uh, Leona help. Scuttle for the two Devourer stacks. There we go. Drags up in 120. Uh, we'll just clear out this jungle. We've only got three more stacks to go. And then uh, we'll head back. And we'll be all uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Sated Devourer up. Sated Devourer up. Man, this English today, not the best. And then we'll be pretty much unstoppable. And from here, once we now that we've got these two um, core items, we'll just go defensive. So I think I'll probably get a Sunfire um, for the health and the armor. 
to protect against the Hecarim and the Nasus, although the Nasus isn't really doing much, and the Caitlyn. They're, in fact, they're both not doing much. Um, but that's what I'll do. So now we have our Sated Devourer. We'll go back, we'll get the Merc Treads. And we'll get the... We'll get the... The Surrender. So that was a quick little uh, Xin Zhao game there. Finally, when I get the Sated Devourer, uh, kind of like my Trundle game actually, when I finally got the Sated Devourer to show you guys the strength of it, they surrendered. So, yeah, either way, I still hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll try and get another Sated Devourer game with someone else up, uh, or maybe another Zin game, I'm not too sure. Uh, I really want to show off, uh, showcase how, how strong of an item it is. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.